simply just begun being given the creative treatment it deserves and it's a poetic conversation between an urban contemporary journalist and an ancestral spirit guide. Interesting and moving. This is a description of a dance drama titled The Keeper of the Kum by two critics after featuring on this year's National Arts Festival lineup in Grahamstown. Kum is the word for story or anything told in the now extinct I hope the pronunciation is correct, Tam Bushman language that adorns the South African coat of arms. This, the production, which heads to the Artscape on the 27th of July, is the brain child of award-winning journalist, filmmaker and writer Sylvia Follohoven, who joins us from our Seapoint studios alongside actress uh, Gunita uh, Adams. Uh, ladies, thank you very much for joining me. Hello. Hi. Sylvia, let's start with you, and I think a lot of people for the first time, if you haven't been to Grahamstown, you probably would not have seen this powerful piece. What, what inspired it? Well, it's a long story, but in short, you know, I've covered the journalistic story of my country, of the region, of different parts of the world for a very, very long time. And I... <laughs> I, I just um, got some crazy directions from the camera people on the floor. Um, I decided after a while that I really didn't know anything at all about my own history, about my own background. And so um, after becoming very sick a few years ago and not being able to find out what was happening, I then consulted Sangoma as who told me that I needed to respond to an ancestral calling, which is what this book is about. It's, it's a response to an ancestral calling, and I decided that where I come from, not a lot of people read books, so we've developed it as a cross-platform story with the director, Basil Apollos, and um, the play opens at Artscape, as you said, on Wednesday, with a fantastic cast, including Quanita Adams, who is here with me, um, and it is also a feature documentary that we're busy developing and that will come out later. Plus loads of multimedia extensions because I think the way to go is to tell ancient stories using modern methods. I, I'm going to talk to Kunita in, in, in a couple of seconds but I wanted to talk to you about moving it from that story and approaching it as you m talked about those multimedia platforms one of them as a performance piece was that as challenging as i think it could be to take a story and then try and relay it in in such a visual medium you know sam if you decide to drop a fantastic job with the gates foundation and go home and consult some gomas and follow an ancestral calling i think you have to be a little bit mad and to carry the insanity a little bit further you then decide okay i'm not it's not enough to write a book i'm also going to do a play and i'm also going to do a movie and i'm also going to do multimedia web extensions so yes it's been extremely daunting but on another level, it's also been very, very fulfilling. It's changed my life completely. And I just have that feeling, that sense of calm and peace that you get from having followed your dream and having fulfilled your vision. But um, my background, as you know, is in journalism and then later in television journalism. Um, that background of script writing, of writing, has stood me in great stead to, to have the discipline to write the book. But I've also written two other plays which are currently at the Market Theatre, both Cold Case um, re Revisiting Dulcy September and My Word, a play about the writer Richard Reeve, which is running um, this week at the Market Theatre. That has also given me mm. some experience in the theatre world to, to write and, and produce this particular work. Gunita, so you've got Sylvia um, s sitting next to you and she's, this is her story, it's, it's, and I know a part of an, an, an actor's job is to be able to look at that story and, and interpret it, but how daunting was it? Because this story is not only just a story, it has so many links into reality and is, is that sometimes the most difficult thing to play than a fictional character? No, because I, the, firstly, the character's not entirely fictional. It's based on, you know, the book. Um, and so it wasn't so much daunting as an amazing opportunity to be able to embody this journey. 
uh, that Sylvia's had. So as an actor, to be able to have someone who you can easily have access to and you can kind of consult in terms of being this huge vault of information is a gift for any actor. And then of course, because so much of what the essential kind of message of the book and the play and all the different elements across all the multimedia platforms resonates with me, it was amazing. It was just like, in so many ways, this character was kind of carnita shaped anyway. And it is just about putting it on and feeling it and going, oh, mm. yes, I know this thing. This is amazing. And so in some way, to be able to sit on the line of what that message is, is wonderful. It's an opportunity for me to perform something that I feel incredibly strong about, that I believe in, that resonates with me as somebody who comes from um, the same community that Sylvia comes from, who feels about the community in very similar ways, who's as passionate about getting these stories out there, this was really just n not daunting, but a very exciting challenge. Okay, guys, unfortunately, we run out of time, but we are going to punt it, and everybody know that they have to go and check it out as it starts its run in Cape Town. Award-winning journalist, filmmaker, and writer Sylvia Follerhoven and actress Kanita Adams speaking to us about The Keeper of the Kum, which is a dance drama that begins the story of a battle-hardened 21st century journalist who has uh, a... Uh, journey with her 19th century ancestor to delve into the hardest story of them all who am i really it heads to the artscape on july the 27th and go and check it out